Hi everyone, my name is Steve Lawson. I'm with GE Healthcare's Global MRI Business. And my name is Anya Fofana. So welcome to another episode of Behind the Console. So MR30 for Cigna brings a lot of new features to our customers, a lot of capabilities. Those capabilities include the expansion of Air Recon DL. Uh, today we'd like to demonstrate a few examples of that in regards to propeller. Uh, we think we've got some really interesting things to show you. Yeah, and we want to start off with like a, a scanning session. So we have a volunteer here lined up and we want to like show you the advantages, especially in the anatomy shoulder. So let's go ahead and check that out. So let's review the images we just acquired on that volunteer for the shoulder. So I pulled them up here uh, all into the viewer. We scanned like four different uh, propeller sequences. Um, so we can cover really like all the three different planes, coronal, actual and sagittal views. Um, three times PD fat sets. We acquired three millimeter slice thickness on the shoulder. We had in all four uh, sequences an in-plan resolution of uh, four by four. And uh, we were done in, with that shoulder exam in eight minutes. Yeah. Each of these sequences is around two minutes a piece, right? Um, also important to note, I think, is we can get any tissue contrast that we want with propeller now. Mm -hmm. So if you want T2, PD, T1s, you can do all of those um, quite easily directly in the propeller scans. Yeah. And even yeah, our volunteer who is used to be uh, scanned by an MRI, he moved quite some. You can see that here even in the T1 propeller that the image looks great and sharp, but in between um, images you see that there's some motion happening. Yep. So we were curious uh, how that would have uh, looked with a traditional sequence, so we just acquired a non-propeller sequence made sure that we have the same resolution and the same uh, slice thickness and that is how our non-propeller sequence would look like, which is slightly faster, but I think I would always accept 16 seconds more scan time when the result is turning out with any motion. Yeah, exactly. So gross patient motion is always going to be a, a thing, right? So with propeller, it can help eliminate a lot of that. Yeah. But a lot of times too, you have some physiologic motion. You just have regular breathing. Some Patients have big chests and their shoulder moves when they breathe, so this will help eliminate that uh, repeated scan. Yeah, a lot. So I think for shoulder, honestly, I would highly recommend to now switch the sequences to propeller to avoid repeat scans. Yeah. Let's check out another case here. So, so another really good example, I think, of using propeller um, specifically is in the um, pelvis. And this example is a male pelvis, a prostate exam. This is a, a case from one of our um, sites that we work with. This is a real clinical case. So uh, the images here in the top row are high resolution, three millimeter slices, what you would typically do for a prostate exam. You'll notice the scan times are less than two minutes for each of them. Uh, great tissue contrast. The interesting thing about this particular patient is he had a contraindication for buscopan. So patients normally would receive that injection to help eliminate some of the motion within the bowel. So by having propeller, it's possible now that you could do that and not have to give that. Um, and then also maintaining a very short scan time too. The entire exam here, by the way, was done in less than 12 minutes. I think it was like 11 and a half yeah. minutes, something like, something like this. Uh, all of the scans here that you're seeing, not just the propeller, but the dynamics on the left, this is the dynamic uh, uh, contrast enhanced scan, the diffusions there in the middle with the ADC on the right, all of these were acquired with Air Recon DL. So really nice to know that you're gonna get that sharp image quality, um, and then you're also going to have uh, images without the motion that you would, you would normally uh, see whenever you didn't uh, use the buscopan. So it's really, really impressive work here. Perfect. I think that concludes the session uh, MR30 with the propeller sequences um, here. So we are uh, excited to show you more in the next uh, video. So thanks for watching us. Thank you. Bye-bye.